Okay, Margaret, um, you sent me a few problems, and I don't know which ones you had trouble with, so I had a few minutes now before a student comes, so I thought I'd do a couple and then maybe do a couple later. Um, but this is the one, it's 5.2a, and it says, given the reaction that I just wrote, um, what will be the final volume occupied by the oxygen gas um, if you start with one mole of KClO3 and the conditions are important they basically say zero Celsius one atmosphere you should know that that's called STP um, the neat thing about STP is you could always know that it doesn't matter what gas you have um, the volume is 22.4 liters but it's got to be at zero Celsius in one atmosphere 22.4 liters so that's going to come into play a little later so if you start with one mole of KClO3 and you look at your balanced equation, you could do some dimensional analysis and do three moles of oxygen are produced for every two moles of KClO3. And if 22.4 liters, I'm sorry, I forgot to say this earlier, one mole of gas is 22.4 liters, is equivalent to one mole of O2, you could calculate yourself a volume. So I have one mole times three moles divided by two moles, forgot to write that, sorry, times 22.4 liters, I get an answer of 33.6 liters, and that on your multiple choice question is answer C. Okay, does that make sense? Again, the key is knowing what STP means. STP means that one mole of gas occupies 22.4. If I'm starting with one mole of this reactant, I'm getting one and a half moles of O2, and then you multiply it times that. The second problem is 5.2.b. This one is harder. Um, it says that you have an airbag, and um, the airbag is inflated by this solid. It's called sodium azide. It's a solid, and it decomposes into sodium metal solid and N2 gas. So this is the gas law chapter. So it shouldn't shock you that we're going to use PV equals NRT. Essentially, they're asking you, how many grams of this sodium azide do I need to fill up the airbag with the conditions they mention? So the conditions are, they say the volume has to be 45.5 liters. The pressure is 1.09 atm. And the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Well, the first thing I know, because I teach this for so long, is they really don't mean Celsius. They should say Kelvin, because gas laws always use Kelvin. So that's 293K. And since, this, since we have volume is liters, that's cool. Pressure is atmosphere, is that cool? That's cool. And temperature is T. We can go ahead and do the ideal gas law. So the ideal gas law says PV equals NRT, and if you use the units that I already mentioned, the R is 0.08206 liter atmospheres K dot mole. So I'm going to rearrange this because the only thing I don't know is the moles. So basically, once I know how many moles of gas that these conditions uh, produce, then I could work backwards and use stoichiometry to figure out the sodium azide. Now, the equation's not balanced yet. I'll get to that in a minute. All right, so let's say moles of gas is equal to PV over RT. So the moles of gas, this is N2 gas, is equal to the pressure, 1.09 atm. Always write your units times the volume. That is 45 point, whoops. 45.5 liters over 0.08206 times the temperature's 293K. And if I solve for moles of N2, I get 2.06 moles. Now, be careful. Look at this question. It's not balanced. It says that the salt decomposes the sodium metal in N2, but I've got three ends on the left and two ends on the right. That's not going to work. How about if I put a three there? and then put a 2 there and a 2 there. So now it's balanced. So the 2.06 moles of N2 in the airbag is connected to um, the 
uh, sodium azide, which has this ratio. Whoops, Daddy made a mistake. Um, this is 3 moles of um, N2. Okay, and then finally, uh, the moles, uh, grams per mole is 65. So 65 grams per one mole of NaN3 gives me a final answer of 89.3 grams of NaN3. Okay? Um, if you have any questions with these, you can give me a call and we can go over it. Um, after my student comes, I maybe will make another video. Bye!